Emma Goldman, the famous anarchist leader, has returned to the United States after an exile of 15 years. I'm delighted to be back in the United States. My hunting ground of 35 years. The country where I had my innings in the social and economic struggle and where I decided to devote myself to the presentation of anarchism a social philosophy which aims at the emancipation economic, social, political and spiritual of the human race. Emma Goldman was perhaps the best known of the many immigrant anarchists who had come from countries all over Europe. Italians, Russians, Germans and Spaniards had been converted to the ideas of anarchism first preached by the Russians Michael Bakunin and Peter Kropotkin. The immigrant anarchists envisioned a world without leaders, a system of mutual aid made up of interlocking federations and communes. The anarchists hoped their persistent educational efforts would pay off when the working classes would spontaneously rise up and overthrow their oppressors. These immigrants created a whole self-contained culture with their own schools, colonies, newspapers and publications. Together with other immigrant groups, they led anti-war protests during the First World War and were active in fighting the rising tide of fascism during the 1930s and 40s. And they were also the prime targets of government repression, earmarked for wholesale arrests, deportation, and lifelong harassment. What do you think about Russia, Miss Goldman? I consider Russia and America the most interesting countries in the world today. How about Hitler? I don't know him and don't want to. What is your opinion of Italy? Beautiful country minus Mussolini. Ms. Goldman, should the government here object to your uh, speeches of anarchism, would you change them or leave the country? I will leave the country rather than deny my ideas. I prefer to stick to my guns. 